Hawksby and Jacobs on Talk Sport. Fine. All right, then. Good. This is Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs with you through until four here on Talk Sport, where this afternoon we are coming to you live from our living rooms. It's marvellous. Yes, coming up between now and four, if the technology holds up, a lower league manager on being clopped, the man behind the FIFA quarantine team tournament, whatever that is, and seen, that's seen top players going head-to-head, and the legendary Cliff Jones, football's octogenarian Joe Wicks. We'll take your calls, emails, texts and tweets, and we'll have the start of two new exciting series, a Premier League manager's murder mystery novel serialised, and on this day in sporting history, <laughs> yesterday... That's marvellous. There's all this, plus Rupert Bell brings us live racing from South Africa, Tim Vickery in Rio, and Mike Parry in lockdown. Mike Parry in lockdown, uh, who's got big things planned, uh, not just for himself, uh, but for the world. We'll tell you more about that uh, a little bit later on. But it is oh, seven minutes past one. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Andy. Good afternoon, Paul. Good afternoon, everybody. And, uh, yeah, this is a new experience for us. We've never done this, I think. Maybe once we did it many, many years ago. You were in Spain. I was in the studio. But here we are in our houses broadcasting to you. If it all goes wrong, uh, I'll get my guitar out and play Knocking on Heaven's Door. Oh, tremendous. You, oh, that's great to hear. You, Fantastic. You, I, thought you, I thought you dropped off there for a minute, Paul. That's no, I'm still with you. I'm seconds. still listening. Oh, good. Yes. Um, so, all, all good, I think. And uh, I think, basically, everybody should be indoors, which is one of the reasons why we're doing this. And uh, so, here we are, indoors, in our own houses. So, uh, yeah. Yes. Is that it? And, and says, uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's it. I've, I've missed my commute to work. I had to get Sue to do the traffic and travel bulletin between here and the bedroom. I oh, okay, fantastic. Well. Yeah. I yeah, mean, normally quite well. a lot happens to you on the commute in, doesn't it? Quite a lot goes on. Yeah. But uh, well, not a pile today, of washing. Sadly. No, there was a pile of washing by the uh, utility room, but I managed to sort of work my way around it, so that was all all good. Um, I could be on the, on the drinks cabinet by three o'clock. It's a bit lethal. It's right behind me, so if it doesn't go well, oh, I'll, okay, I'll resort yeah. to that. But uh, uh, based all in on all, the last couple of minutes, I could be on it by about quarter past one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's certainly different, this, isn't it? We've had, we've, had, uh, we've had our meeting between the four of us. That was quite interesting. Yes. On house party. So, uh, and we can see each other, which is quite good. You see, I'm wearing a uh, shirt and tie and a suit. Yeah. Because I felt like getting dressed up. I felt like going to work. But I've done the old newsreaders thing. I am actually wearing jeans underneath. Look, there you go. Look. Oh, look yeah, at that. That's a nice to, touch, yeah. That's Very what they good. used to do, yes. So, uh, yeah, so it's lots of, lots of interesting stuff in the papers, of course. That, uh, Is it? Be speaking to, oh, yes. I must be oh, reading yeah. the wrong papers. <laughs> no, I found stuff anyway. But I, I thought the Sun had a very useful uh, thing this morning. It was really seriously very useful. Your key lockdown questions answered here. Lots of very good information. But one of the questions was, can I have a picnic in the park? You think, of course you can't. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> People aren't honestly thinking that, are they? For goodness sake. And uh, lovely There was one in the Cliff- Telegraph, Andy. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna, we're going to keep doing this. I'll try not. We have a slight delay, as I've just now realised. So it's a bit like talking to someone in a foreign country. So uh, there is a slight delay. So forgive us if we keep crashing each other initially until we get slightly <laughs> more, used to more, this. But more than we uh, usually do. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely right. So uh, there was one in the Telegraph as well and said, what shall I do about my dry, chapped hands because of all the hand washing uh, and the gelling? And the answer was moisturise. That's money Thanks. for old rope, isn't it? That gig. <laughs> Blimey. It's good. They reckon and olive oil. A... You can put olive oil all over the back of it as well. Rub your hands in right. olive oil, then put your gloves on. At night. Why are you, sh- why are you shouting at me like I'm an old person? <laughs> well, you know, there's only one answer to that. <laughs> and I normally and speak to my mum. I normally speak to my mum like this on her Alexa. So I'm waiting for you to go, Alexa, stop. And then that will be the end of the conversation. <laughs> Actually, last night I was having a visual call, video call with my son, and I forgot, it was, I started using it like a normal phone. So he basically had a lovely shot of my ear, which was quite interesting. But uh, Beautiful. We'll, we'll get there. Yeah, I know. And a lovely photo of uh, Cliff Jones, who we're going to be speaking to later. There he is working out, and above him is, I don't know if you saw that in the sun, Paul, today, a lovely picture of Cristiano Ronaldo looking full.